through the magic of trike men, now we're on a smoother road, much smoother. And yeah, now we can enjoy the trike. See, there's my place right over there in the middle of nowhere. You know, we got water, sewer, trash, underground, all underground utilities, underground fiber optic. You know, I don't use it. I just use my cell phone, my visible wireless cell phone. I got a Pixel 6 that's hooked up with visible wireless, which invisible wireless is owned by Verizon. And so I use the hotspot on this phone for my internet access. Works great. Get, get about 110 down, 110 megs down, and about uh, anywhere from 10 to 25 up, which is excellent. That mountain straight ahead, that is uh, Sierra Blanca. That's, that's right near Ruidoso, New Mexico. Elevation 12,000 feet or so. And we had a little snow here recently. And so we've got a little snow on the mountaintop. That's where Ski Apache is. If you're a snow skier, uh, that's a ski resort owned by the Apache Nation near Ruidoso, the Mescalero Apaches. And on and on we go, guys. Trike man triketh. And this uh, this road here is it smooth. It's uh, it's it's okay. It's not great. But the best one is right up when we get up here where the roads are used a lot more then it's really smooth. Yeah, if you speed up, uh, you know, I'm going 10 right now. It'll go 15 or more, 15 miles an hour. And how long will it do that? Uh, longer than you probably want to ride it, several hours. Yeah, this is my place on the left there. Uh, that was just going to be a kind of a temporary on and off home base, but I've just made it home right now. I'm selling my place in Fort Clark Springs, Texas. So if any of you guys up north want a place uh, where it's much nicer in the winters, uh, and it's a it's a it's an old military base called Fort Clark Springs near Brackettville, Texas, right across the highway, actually. And uh, it's 24 hours of security, security gate. Uh, they got a golf course, tennis courts, uh, you know, all the amenities. Got a big swimming pool that's spring fed. And if you wanted to be there in the winters or all the time, doesn't matter. Yeah, just uh, you can contact me at rusty78609 at gmail.com and I'll put you in touch with the realtor that's handling it for me. Yeah, I think you might enjoy it. I just decided to make this my home base because I didn't need to. Too much trouble. And this place is so peaceful, man. There's hardly, well, in fact, virtually no traffic here. Uh, there are a few homes probably on this whole 4,000 acre place, or more, it may be more, I think it's 4,000 something acres. But yeah, I think there's probably 30 homes. I'd say they're spaced a uh, quarter mile, a half mile apart. So you got plenty of privacy. And there, uh, the little town of Carrizozo is about 600 population. And they got a few, a couple of restaurants, or a few restaurants, uh, they don't have uh, any fast food places that you would know the name of. Uh, they don't have a grocery store. That The nearest grocery store is Capitan, New Mexico, 20 miles away, which is not bad. And they have a nice little grocery store there. And then if you really need to do some serious shopping, you can go to Ruidoso, New Mexico, uh, about 35 miles away. And, uh, yeah, they've got Walmart, Albertsons, and everything there. Yeah, this road here is much smoother. But we'll let this go a little bit. I just thought Trike Man ought to get out and get in this beautiful sunlight because we've had one one day, yeah, we had one day this week that was blowing snow and windy and yeah, it was it was tough. But just like normal here in Carrizozo in the winters, 
sun comes out the next 10 days or 60 degrees or in the low 60s and the low uh, 40s and upper 30s yeah you can't beat it and that's why I'm here there are restrictions here normal stuff trike man tricus <laughs> yeah this is quite a bit of fun here particularly on a day like this the road we're on right now is called valley del sol and i believe that that means like valley of the sun or valley the Sun Valley, maybe, the Dell of the Sun, Valley of the Sun. Yeah, this was going to be a super fancy uh, housing addition with a golf course and all kind of stuff. And they went, they started in 2007, and a few, th a few years later, they went completely bust. And all the people that bought that property with high expectations got stung. There's a few tracks, actually all the tracks now are owned by individuals, all this stuff on the right and left, and uh, it's kind of hard to find one sometimes. I, I was lucky that I found the one I found because it had a double wide mobile home on the property. Uh, they moved it to Las Cruces, New Mexico, and left that concrete pad there, and it makes a nice place to park my motor home as well as it has a septic system uh, water there, electric, and got that two-car garage and a storage building, which makes it work perfectly for me. So, guys, uh, without further ado, I'll get up here where I can stop off the road, and uh, I will end this video. But I did want to do a, a little triking video and uh, let you guys see a Liberty trike. If you need mobility, I'm 79 years old. Great thing about it is the simplicity. I have tried other ones. This is the best one they make because you just have a throttle. You don't have pedal assist and all that stuff. You don't have the Shimano shifter and all that crap that you don't need. Yeah, this thing works great. And the 20 inch height works great for me since I'm six foot two. And uh, yeah, we're, we're good. We're, we're completely pleased with this. But yeah, from uh, Burl Road uh, in Carrizozo, New Mexico, this is Trike Man saying thumbs up, car pay diem, adios, bye bye. Use the Amazon link in the description of the video if you choose to. Also, I'll leave a link to libertytrike.com. And if you're interested in buying you a Liberty Trike, well, use the code Trike Man at checkout and that'll save you 50 bucks so yeah let me turn around here i don't have it right in the sun just right let me get on the other side this will give us a little better shot but isn't that my shadow is going to kind of be in the way maybe not too bad yeah but that that is a really comfortable nice unit and, and i don't know of anybody that has a more comfortable seat on a trike than liberty trike no kidding and uh, yeah, it's very nice. 20 inch wheels or 19, I'm not sure. But yeah, this seat, this thing is very comfortable, man. It's padded and back here, yeah. All the other ones I tried were just like sitting on rocks. But yeah, guys, so check you out a, a Liberty trike and uh, acquire some mobility that you will enjoy. Enjoy your life. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.